Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson before here bringing you some Black Ops 1 gameplay. And the reason why is because this week I'm going old school week. So expect Modern Warfare 3 to show up, expect uh, Black Ops 2 to show up, and Black Ops 1 only. And the reason why only those three games is because I don't want to step into Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 because they're mostly hacked. So I don't want my PSN hacked or anything, even though you tell me guys like right now like, Oh Joe, don't worry, they only hack the lobbies, they don't hack your, your PSN account, I don't care. You know, I like, I like to take precautions, I don't want my account to be hacked and all that shit, so I stay away from that hacking stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, only those three games. Only Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 1. And what I'm going to do is just talk about my history. Now most of the new subs don't even know how the hell did I even get good in Call of Duty. Because I know most of you guys are from the Black Ops 2 era. And uh, a little bit of my fan base is, is from the Modern Warfare 3 era that I created here on my channel. And also, I know most of you guys are from the Grand Theft Auto 5 era. Which is uh, was lived pretty short because I stopped doing it for a little bit. But I'll bring it back guys, don't not worry. There's going to be more GTA 5 raising. But anyways, going back into the to the topic before I get sidetracked, um, you know, Black Ops One was pretty much my prime time, and most of you guys don't even know this because since I have you know 800 subs, I know 400 of you guys don't even know what the hell that I do in Black Ops One. Well, everything started in Black Ops One. Uh, before this, I didn't even like first-person shooter games. The only way I got convinced into playing it was because of my brother, because he just saw me play one match. In Black Ops 1 and I got like around 40 kills and like around 12 deaths or something like that and uh, he was very surprised because he, he he was just he was like you know you did pretty good in this match why don't you just play this for the whole year you know because everybody does it there's pros and everything there's leagues and they pay you to play this game and I was like alright you know you know what I'll do it so I ended up doing it and I ended up doing great throughout the whole year and at one point I ended up being ranked in the top 15 for both Team Deathmatch and Domination in the whole world and the way I did that was because of 5 games in a row there was like around 315 prestige clans and in each match I got like over 75 kills plus the most I ever got from those 5 matches I think I kind of remember those 5 uh, those five matches uh, the most kills I got in the first match I think it was like around 84 the second match was like, was like around 75, the third match was like around 81 or 87, I forgot which one it was. And in the fourth match, I ended up getting 98 and, and 12, yeah. It was 98 and 12, I ended up getting 98 kills and 12 deaths. That's how close I got to 100 kills, that's the closest ever. Has it happened to me again? No. And I have never gotten 98 kills since Black Ops 1. And um, the last match, I ended up getting like around, uh, I think it was like around 92 kills or 94 kills. But it was a lot of kills and it happened in jungle. And it happened against three 15 prestige clans. All of those matches were against clans. So, yeah. And then one match, I ended up calling like around four chopper gunners. I think the most you can ever call is four or five. But uh, one match, I called in four. I called in the dogs three times in the in the what was the other thing called Blackbird, the Blackbird I called it like four times or three times. Excuse me, and uh, it was insane. It was pretty much insane. People were like calling me hacker, messaging me like, "How the fuck do you do it?" You know, people were saying like, "Hey, hey, be my friend." I was getting like shitloads of friend requests. It was crazy, and I was like. You know, I, I, I never liked first person shooters, but goddamn, you know, this just happens out of nowhere. So after that, that happened after I faced those matches against the clan. After all of that, I checked the leaderboards, and it said like I had like around 750 points per game or per minute or something like that, and that's how I used to be in the leaderboards. So I was, uh, so I checked because it was point, points per minute, and it said I was in rank number three. The highest in domination. Rank number three. And in team deathmatch, the highest I ever rank was 15. That's how much it said after all that. Because there was like around two TDM matches, I think. No, never mind. There was like no TDM matches. It was just pure domination. And um, But I don't know how to uh, team deathmatch caught up. I think it was because before those matches had TDM in ground war. I'm not sure what happened. How I, the hell I ended up being that high also in TDM. But domination, I don't know how I ended up being that high. Because I called that a lot of a lot of freaking chopper gunners, a lot of them, and uh, that's how I ended up getting all those points. 
So, uh, so yeah, the only person who actually knows about this is McLovin, some fr old friend, some old, like, old school friend. I had that friend, like, uh, that, I think that was, like, the first guy I ever had here in my PSN, the first friend ever. He's still around, it's just that he doesn't play Call of Duty no more. And he was the only witness to ever see that happening. I mean, he, he witnessed everything. I only had one friend throughout the whole, those five matches, and he was the only one who saw that, that I went, like, that crazy. And ended up being the top of the leaderboards. It was just crazy, man. And I, I don't know. I just wish it could be like those times again. I miss Black Ops 1. I miss when everybody used to play it. It was just a great game, man. I never had problems with it. Well, some lag. That's it. Some host problems. But not as incredible as Modern Warfare 3, though. So, I really never had any problems with this game. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. I liked the competitiveness of, of this game. It was just a 9 out of 9. I mean, 9 out of 10. I mean, Black Ops 2 was just pretty incredible. Really a uh, great prime time for me. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all I have about Black Ops 1. I mean, I was just that good. And the weapon that I mostly used was the, a it was the AK-74U. I made that gun look legendary. It was just the best gun ever. And I wish it would come back to every single Call of Duty after that. I mean, I was like, God damn, if I did good in this game with the AK-74U, I wish it would come back. Everything was done with the AK-74U. I never changed weapon. And all I did was rush. And did I ever have problems with the drop shots with the quick with the quick scopers? No. I would always laugh at them because I was tell I always tell them like, "Oh, you're gonna drop shot? All right, easy headshot." <laughs> People were mad at me because they they were like, "Oh, whatever, bitch, whatever, bitch, whatever." And I, I was like, "The fuck! I just kicked your ass, and you you still talking shit? Unbelievable!" So yeah, I mean. Quick scopers also. Quick scopers were the easiest kill in this game, since every time you aim with a, with a sniper, it will uh, target any like uh, like any part of the screen. That's what would happen every time you quick scope. So I had no problems with quick scopers. I had no problems with job shotters. I had no problems with campers, because actually the grenades work in this game, and the claymores also. So they never snuck behind you or they were camping at all. What, well, uh, except for some stages, they actually had some good camping spots. But somehow I managed to take them out all out with no palms. And no matter what, I would always get a chopper gun in each match. Never struggled. Sometimes, but it was against Mexican clans. Mexican clans were fucking tough at all. As, as hell, man. I really do not want to face them. <laughs> so uh, what else happened? Um, yeah, that's about it. I got messaged by, uh, by a lot of people. I mean, people call me hackers and stuff. And I was like, I don't really care. And, and also, the highest KD I ever had in this game was a 3.36. <laughs> a 3.36. And that was for a whole three months. Three months of 3.36 KD. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my history of Black Ops 1. You know, you guys want some more, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. And I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.